Damien, are you sure you want to do this? A am I sure? Am I sure? <laughs> I want to be gone by the time I get stuck in one of his wacky videos. I'm gone. But Damien, is it really that bad? <laughs> is it really that bad? Melinda, I had a bomb strapped to my chest. I was stuck in a digital world. And not to mention that I died. Okay, so I'm gonna leave. But Damien, film is tomorrow. Are you sure you'll get out in time? I will be long gone across the border before he wakes up. Okay? <laughs> Good evening, Damien. Having trouble sleeping? No, no, I just thought oh, this was gonna go on a walk. Yeah, I was gonna go on a walk. <laughs> You didn't respond to me about tomorrow's filming session. You're gonna be in it, right? Uh, that's 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 tomorrow? <laughs> oh, I totally forgot about that. I already made, pl I made, I, I, I made plans. Come now, Damien. You know what I'm capable of. What shall I do to you this time? Get you stuck in an alternate dimension? No, 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 no. Then I take it you'll do the episode then. Yes. <laughs> then allow me to escort you to your wardrobe. No, I, I, I don't need an escort. I know where it's at. <laughs> I, I got this. <laughs> Nonsense, Damien. We wouldn't want you getting lost now, would we? No. After you. Melinda! I've had Damien prepare a little song for you. A what? <laughs> so all the well, goodbye, I feel safe. I like to stay in time for shipping. Yes? No. Jen, I am a, a, an adult. This is mine. Hey, hey, hey get back here! Hey, 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 hey! You're a pair of this. You, you, you're like you have a review to do right now. What, what, what a dick, huh? Let's just do the review. Stupid Damien. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, and welcome to the newest episode of The Oscar Goes To. I'm Jan Michael. And I'm Melinda. And today is Oscar Goes To, The Sound of Music. Yeah, ow, ow, yeah, ow. Let's begin. Melinda, what did you think of The Sound of Music? Well, I thought it was interesting. Um, I had never seen this movie before we saw it today, and I did not expect it to be what it was for sure. Um, I thought it was just going to be some happy movie um, about a bunch of kids getting a new mom type thing, and it was, but in a very different way. I was never confused about what type of movie it was going to be, uh, and mostly just because I had a friend that was really into this film when I was younger, so kind of introduced me to it. Uh, that being said, I think the movie is just fine. I don't hate it, and I don't overly love it either. Um, but I can definitely see where a lot of the appeal of the film comes from. I think Julie Andrews um, is a character that a lot of people really like. She brings this energy and joy to the role, and I think she becomes very, uh, she, she rubs off on everybody, and especially the audience, so you have a fun time following her. And then of course, the music. Uh, a lot of the music I think is very catchy, um, it's, it's something that gets stuck in your head, 
um, their fun melodies, with the exception, strangely enough, of the main song, uh, The Hills Are Alive. Uh, you know, apart from that very first line, I really don't think that song has a very good melody. I don't think it has very memorable lyrics. Uh, even now, I'm trying to think of what the follow-up lyrics are, and I, I can't think of what they are. But, uh, I mean, apart from that, yeah, the, the movie's fine. Yeah, for someone like myself who had never seen the movie and didn't know where the songs really came from, um, I just knew them as jingles used in commercials. So for me, they didn't have the same magic that they might have if I had seen it first. Uh, so I don't feel an attachment to them. I don't really think of them as less like annoying to me. But um, the thing about musicals too is it's really hard to pace them out well. Like I feel like some things didn't go as well as they would have in a movie as far as like time passing and development between people. There were some things that just kind of came out, out of the blue. Um, there was a boy in there that was in love with the girl one minute then next act he's like totally stone cold towards her and no reasons for it so things like that make it a little bit difficult to watch for me personally i can definitely see where you're coming from with the execution of the passage of time i think a lot of that is said vocally but in terms of execution i think it's hard to really engage how much time has really passed and, and it hurts the film in a couple of different areas the first one for me being how the protagonist gets along with these kids. They're obviously kids that have had a lot of these nanny figures in their life and so they pick on a lot of the nannies to get attention. And so that was definitely going to be a focal point, I believed, of the film for, for a good majority. Uh, just Julie uh, trying to get these kids under, uh, under control and to come to her side. But that's really only a tiny little bit of the film, like it, it was barely anything. Uh, another part that it does that with is in the romance uh, between Julie and Christopher Plummer where it really comes out of nowhere and that's not to say you don't know it's gonna go that route it is it's very obviously gonna go in that direction but it happens like that and it's just kind of yeah it's a little bit jarring uh, it, it's just kind of like why why did they do it that fast although to follow it up I did like that uh, during that point, she leaves, and then when she comes back, he kind of understands how he feels about her. I thought that was sweet. It's just that initial uh, romantic connection they had that I felt didn't quite work as well. All right, and I guess it's testament to um, Christopher Plummer's acting skills because he apparently didn't like Julia Andrews, um, and he he was probably the best part of that movie, to be honest. The kids were all right, and. I am not too much of a fan, as you know, of the kind of like ditzy characters. Um, I like Julie Andrews as Mary Poppins for sure, the stern actress. Um, she's great like that. I'm not a fan of like, again, the crazy ditzy unsure person. But yeah, I would say that he was probably the best part of that movie. I'm actually gonna disagree with you here. I think actually it's Julie Andrews who's the heart of the film and is really what makes it a joy to watch. Uh, I don't dislike Christopher Plummer. I, I think he did a fine job, uh, but I don't think you can really um, ignore the impact that Julie has. You know, from the very first shot of her walking up the hill, she has these vocals and she's powerful. She's she's larger than life. Um, and I, I really liked her. And then you kind of get to the third act, which uh, like really downplays her. She's not really a central focus of that third act at the very, very last part of the film where it gets really serious uh at that point it like focuses on christopher and yeah again he's good um i just i don't think it's as strong as as some of the other parts of the film i i, I still like it i think it still has good moments but especially because you know julie's kind of taking a back seat to all these other characters so i don't know it just feels like a a different movie at that point all right no totally disagree when you see him acting like a stern like captain of the ship for his family to transitioning to a really sweet guy with the baroness like those are totally different characters to me and he does them very well it seemed very natural so better than julie sorry but other than that um the movie was again it was just fine um the music was very unusual there's a part where there's a song specifically critiquing julie andrew's character that says you know that she's a problem and like all these issues and they play it at her wedding 
which I thought was really rude. So I'm not really sure what they were thinking with that one, but I don't think that was a great call. Melinda, would you recommend the sound of music to today's audiences? And do you think it should have won the Oscar that year? And I would not. I am just not a fan of this movie. So to me, it's a no-go. And for me, I'm on the fence on it. Uh, again, I don't hate the film. I'm not angry that it ended up winning the Oscar. And I can see why a lot of people like the movie. I really can. Um, I just thought it was okay. I think like you, it's, I'm not one way or another. I'm not angry I saw it. I wasn't bored. I just wasn't overly amused and inspired. So yeah, middle of the road for me. That, that's what I got. By the way, if you're just seeing it for the first time like I did, know that it is three hours long. Which, coincidentally, is as long as I'm gonna beat Damien to with song! Oh, Damien! <laughs> well, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.